Spain, the famous uh, football ground in the world. We're moving on with our next fight of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your next bout of the evening. Introducing first, falling out of the blue corner with a record. No wins, no losses, but one draw. Representing NGB Boxing, Charlie Ellis! Charlie Elledge and Evan Gibbs. Charlie right. Elledge coming in at 79 kilograms. He's got no wins, no losses, but he does have a draw. I think it's that draw that I've done this walk before. It makes such a difference. To go from your debut to your second fight. You know what to expect, you know the adrenaline dump's coming, you know the nerves are going to be there, you know you've got to make way, you know the drama of waiting backstage, you know how to listen to your coaches. It's a, it's a huge step without a little bit of experience. And he's taking on the debut, Evan Gibbs. Very similarly to match these two, I mean, Charlie Elledge giving up four kilograms. But the five centimetre the taller of the two, Evan Gibbs, five centimetres shorter, but... A little bit shorter of squatter, 83 kilograms, 183, 180 centimeters. That could really pay off for him. It's going to be interesting to see how Charlie Elledge comes back because he had a disappointing and controversial decision in his previous fight for the draw. And he's hungry for that first win. And his opponent, boxing out of the red corner, making his debut and representing ringside fight team, Evan Gibbs! Remember, this show is brought to you by the Padcast, a brand new podcast coming out next month. The Padcast is a, a boxing themed podcast. We'll be talking about Premier Boxing League, some of the fighters, some of the champions, and all the things coming up. Looking absolutely shredded is Evan Gibbs. I mean, he's got four kilograms on his opponent, five centimeters shorter. Looking in great condition. And he's making his debut as Evan Gibbs, so a yep. really big question mark over the head of that fighter in the black trunks and the blue gloves. Three two-minute rounds to get it done in, a total of six minutes in the ring possible if there isn't a finish. Charles Elledge, golden black. Evan Gibbs, solid black with a little bit of white. Here we go. Final instructions for both men. There's good intensity in the stare down here. Elledge versus Gibbs. Here we go. Live in Manchester. Elledge yeah. using the nice body shot by Elledge to start. Evan he Gibbs stated oh. outright that he wants a stoppage. Yeah, Gibbs caught a little left hook to the head. Oh, lands a left hook of his own. Charlie Elledge, he's gonna, he's got to respect the power of Gibbs. Gibbs looks a bit scared, Steve. Yeah, he does look a bit. Oh yeah, he's, he's really biting very, on every yeah, feint. Very flinchy, not settled. Could just, it's his debut. A little Char bit of nerves. Charlie Elledge, hands down, quite low, inv inviting Evans, Evan Gibbs in, trying to land his own counter. Oh, oh stumbled him with that jab. Gibbs walked onto it. Elledge was obliging. Elledge settling in, shaking his arms out, feeling the shots. Look at that wide elbow stance for Elledge. Very unusual. He's Just really hanging. heavy, flat on his feet as well. He's looking to load oh, up. Oh, left hook. Mm. Wow. Gibbs called for the stoppage, but it's Elledge that's trying to oblige right now. So he mixes up right hook to the body, left hook to the head. Yeah, great movement by Elledge. Gibbs just, just got that debut look about him, Steve. He's just, very, he's just biting a little bit too much on all the feints. It's almost like he's waiting for something to happen in his favor rather than making it happen. He needs to lead with his jab. He needs to start establishing those longer weapons. Oh, nice right. Charlie Elledge seems to be able to find a home for that right hand constantly. And maybe it's the awkward stance. Might be throwing Gibbs off a bit. 
Elledge's front hand is so weird, Steve. I've never seen a boxer stick their left elbow out. Nice right. Oh, and there's the end of our oh. first round. No love lost. They're definitely staring daggers into each other. But Gibbs has got to go out there and make some adjustments. He's got the champ in his corner. He's going to be talking to him, helping him make those adjustments. He's got a, it looks like he needs to settle in. Gibbs, yeah, you know, he's selling Elledge. He needs to stop telegraphing that left hand, sticking his elbow out. Just needs to keep his shape a little bit more. Exactly, and I think he had a lot of success with that jab earlier on in the fight. He needs to continue to go back to that jab, doubling it up, and then using that to land the right hand. Similarly, well, not similarly. From Gibbs, I just want to see anything. He's yeah. he, he doesn't look gun shy, but he looks very tight, and yeah. he hasn't got that relaxation through the shoulders. It you're not trying to slam hammers or sledgehammers into each other. You're trying to whip it in. Well, that's the thing. It's not. It's not a competition of who can hit hardest. It's a competition of who can hit without getting hit. At the moment, Elledge is the one having the more success of that. Here we go, round two. Charlie Elledge very successful. Had Gibbs stumbling in the first round. Gibbs is shaking the cobwebs off, and he wants to come back in the second. Now he's throwing. Yeah, Elledge could do with staying a little cleaner with his shot, Steve. It's a lot of right hooks off the jab. It's not, it's not the crispest boxing, but it is effective. Nice oh. straight right comes through. Punishing that body, coming up with the left hook. Gibbs lands a nice shot. Oh, another left hook. Yeah, so he steams forward as Elledge, and he's got Gibbs on the ropes as he continues to barrage forward with lefts and rights. Oh, lovely shots by both fighters landing in this exchange. The thing is, when Elledge comes in for those left hooks, he leaves his right hand so far down. If Gibbs could just beat him to it, it might change the face of this fight. It might change Elledge's, Elledge's face too. There's the left hook. There's another left hook from Gibbs. Charlie Elledge shaking his head as though he knew that that was poor. Nice left hook. But Gibbs really overcommits to every shot. Elledge has managed to move off the throw countless. That right hook to the body, left hook over the top. I mean, it's an unusual combination to be leading with, but it's it's working. Elledge seems to be happy to have Gibbs come forward right now. Gibbs looking pretty fresh still. Yeah, very well conditioned. Elledge looking a little more tired of the two now. Gibbs with a rally. Oh, lovely okay. right. Elledge lands. Gibbs rolls Another away right. with it, but now he's on the ropes. Can't escape too far away. Elledge backing back into the ropes, looking to kind of push off, and he lands a left hook right as the bell sounds. Elledge looking exhausted. Gibbs looking much fresher. But, I mean, there's a good chance that's two rounds in the, in the bag for Elledge. A little bit closer in the second. Here's some replays of some of the shots. Yeah, we're seeing Elledge coming over the front, top, big left hooks. And when they do land, Elledge just seems to get the, the better of the exchanges. Wild shots by both fighters. It's a great learning fight for both of them, I think. I think we've it seen is. great skills, but I think they're going to come back and they're going to make adjustments. But and we're they're going to say, look, this is what I can do to make this fight better. This is where I can tighten up, polish this technique. Elledge needs to stop leading with the right hook to the body. He needs to vary his entries into these combinations. Gibbs, a little bit more relaxed, a bit more of a game plan, using that footwork. Now we are going to get a third round here. Yeah, this will be our third and final round in the Elledge versus Gibbs war. There's a good chance that Elledge is two rounds up. Gibbs has got to give everything he can this third and final round. And it does seem a little bit more tired. This is a great opportunity for Gibbs to capitalize. A bit of a long rest there in between rounds. Maybe that helps Elledge as he steams forward with a right hand. I want to see if Gibbs is relaxed a bit between the rounds. He looks poised, coiled like a spring as he tries to land a right hand. Yeah. 
Gibbs has got a different look in his eyes. Oh, but he's eating a couple of shots. Oh, now he's talking, he's saying, come on, bring it on. I think Elledge is too good to be drawn in by the trash talk. It's funny because Charlie Elledge had so much success with a good standard jab. And then this elbow's coming out. Ooh, right hand lands. Oh, did some damage, Steve. Oh, beautiful work by Elledge. He got rocks. He had a big shot. Looks a little wobble on his feet. He's tied up. Get that few seconds recovery. Elledge's corner is on their feet right now. They're shouting at their fighter to keep his hands up and stay to the... Solid advice. Stay to the game plan. Elledge lands a right hand that sends Gibbs into the referee. Forty seconds remaining. Gibbs is tied up again I think by this, Elledge. This is the game plan from Elledge now. I think he's a couple of rounds up, but he's absolutely spent with 30 seconds left in the fight. He's just trying to find a way to get that bell. He still goes back to the oh, right. lovely hand. right by oh, yeah. Gibbs. Beautiful counter right hand. Oh, lovely and right by Elledge. A right hand of his own for Elledge. And that is painful. Last few seconds of this round. Gibbs is chasing him down. Eight seconds remaining. The bell can't save him from a knockdown, but he's going to keep steaming forwards. There's no quit in Elledge. Wow. Incredible fight. What a fight. What a, what a comeback from Gibbs. I mean, you've got to give Gibbs possibly the last round. He Two really rounds to one. He was ironing some things out there in that third and final round. He started coming forward, snapping the jabs, and landing the counter earlier. We've got to go to the judges' scorecards. But it's been an absolutely incredible round. Yes, yeah, another one of those fights, Steve, where I'm so glad I'm not a judge. I wouldn't want to be calling this. I think all that time, all that adrenaline spent trying to finish in the first and second round really took a toll on Elledge. But he was able to use his prowess, his understanding, and his wits to keep himself out of danger. Or better yet, get into danger with Gibbs and just be able to land first. Yeah, it was just, uh, yeah, he's trying to put him away from very early in the fight. There's right hooks to the body, left hooks over the top. I mean, he did it a hundred times, but he got through quite a few of them. Great performance by both these fighters. It's one of those fighters where there was fights where there's no real loser. Both showed heart in front, in front of this sold-out Manchester Ladies crowd. Before I announce the decision, can you please put your hands together for a great day to box in there? But we do have a winner by split decision. In the blue corner, Charlie Elledge! Charlie Elledge gets it done, and he gets the elusive victory that he's had to go twice for. But he finally gets it in the end, winning by decision. Oh boy, what a contest that was. Different styles, absolutely fantastic. I mean, Elledge came out so aggressive round one, round two. But punched himself out a little bit. Round three was all Gibbs. I'd like to go on a couple more rounds with that, Steve. Just one or two more would have made that interesting. It would have been, definitely. You could watch those two fight all night. Well, I am here with your winner, Charlie Elledge. That was an incredible contest, buddy. What a fight. Are you happy with the result? Yeah, fantastic, mate. If I try my best, both giving our best. Now, those first two rounds, I felt like you, were, you clearly had an advantage. Yeah. You were catching shots. I know that, he's got good fitness, so I just had to go in first two rounds. And that, that third round, he really rallied. Was that what you were expecting? Yeah. Tried my best, but everything and pays off, doesn't it? <laughs> we saw you open with a lot of, a lot of your combinations, you are opening with body yeah. shots. Was that something you worked on coming Yeah, in? body shots. I only did four week training, so I'm proud of myself. And what do you see coming up next for you? Have you got any plans? Fight on for next Friday. Fight on next Friday. <laughs> so confident. And what about here at the Premier Boxing League? Are you I got to come back up? Have a rematch if he wants to. Rematch. Yeah, we spoke about it earlier on. So. And what about those bouts? You got your eyes on them. 100%. <laughs> yeah, me. NGV. 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 Boxing Club. Congratulations, mate. Absolutely brilliant fight. Best of luck in the future. Back to Steve.